I'm going to go through my pile of 20, 20 of, uh, of analysis books that I want to use in the next year, perhaps two, where I teach myself some real analysis. And uh, I think I'm, I would like to take a course if I can, I will. Uh, so I did a crosswalk of uh, most of the books that I have. I also gave myself a, like a schedule of uh, 31 weeks in, um, I think it's 31, 34, I forget how many weeks. Uh, in uh, in 2023, yeah, 31 weeks, where I want to read Wade. So I'm going to go through all these books. Uh, it may take more than one video, but I'm going to try to be brief. Uh, yeah, I've got a pile of, uh, of analysis books to, uh, to show you fine folks uh, that I want to use. And then I think at the end, I'm not sure if in this video or in the next video, I'll come back to this uh, walk, uh, the crosswalk that I did, chapter by chapter, subject by subject, book by book. All right. So I think the first book, uh, the first book that I have, uh, you all have seen before, and it's uh, Thomas and Finney, Calculus. I uh, went through about half of this book. I think I stopped at chapter seven, integration, uh, and then I moved on to number theory. Uh, I was planning, I really wanted to go ahead and finish this book, uh, but it just wasn't in the cards. It just wasn't in the cards because I want to get going with the more advanced concepts and I know a lot of this material from having been done engineering. <coughs> so I will use it as a reference and uh, yeah, I'll use it for problems as a reference, but I'm not going to go through it methodically page by page like I was doing for Rosen when I did number theory. Then um, I also have a uh, Spivak or Spivak, I think I'm going to call him Spivak. Uh, calculus, which is, you know, people say it's the best calculus book ever. I'm not sure that it is because it doesn't cover as much as Thomas and Finney, but it is really good. So, I mean, what is the best? I think the best is 20 calculus books, if you ask me. But, um, <clears throat> so yeah, in the case of Spivak, uh, he's got a lot on derivatives and integrals, okay? He's got a lot on the foundations. And he also has a lot on infinite sequences and series. So I'm definitely going to use some of this book early on in the beginning of my uh, real analysis uh, coursework. Uh, it's a fine book. It is just absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. I if I had 20 lives in one of those lives, I would read this book cover to cover. I'm not sure that I can swing it. But uh, definitely I will try to use this book as much as possible in my studies of real analysis. Uh, this is a very special book uh, and uh, yeah, I enjoy reading from it. I do every now and then. E is transcendental. Very interesting section. And it's got a really good, really good uh, discussion of other books. I have read this discussion of other books several times. I go through it every now and then just to see where I'm at with my planning. Yeah. And it's got answers in the back as well. So yeah, a great book. Highly recommended. Then I have Terence Tao's um, analysis books hardcover because it is true. And I saw this in uh, on a, a YouTube uh, channel. I think it was uh, Math Sorcerer who's got a great selection of books in his uh, channel besides it being a great channel. Uh, I really like the fact that I bought these as hardcover. I'm not, I, I almost dabbled into using this as my read through, but it's not what I was looking for for this first course. It is very well written. Definitely well written. It uses the piano axioms to uh, lay out the foundations of uh, analysis. Uh, it's got a lot of content, just a lot of really good content. I, I couldn't say enough good things about it, so definitely a book that I'll be reading. Maybe like during a vacation I'll take it uh, and read a specific uh, part of the book. Uh, yeah, definitely want to go through this book. Uh, yeah. So it doesn't have answers, but it's all about proofs anyways, so it's not a big deal. I mean, in a, in a proofs guided book, the proof is the answer anyways, so that's not such a big deal. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to looking through this book as a reference, but it is not going to be my uh, main book 
that I read completely. And uh, of course it's got a second. Maybe I should just show briefly the uh, table of contents. But this, I mean, you can find this book discussed uh, in other channels. Uh, I've, I've, seen the, I've seen these books discussed in other channels. So I'm not showing you anything, uh, you know, new. All right, so those are gonna be uh, books that I'm gonna be looking at. Then there's also uh, this book, which uh, I've looked through. It's got a lot of content. It's one of the few books that really has a lot of uh, art to the end, uh, where you go into multivari tr truly multivariate uh, analysis. Uh, it covers a wide range of topics, so definitely a book that I'll be using, looking through. Um, let me see, I should go through the pages um, more slowly. Yeah, it's got a lot of extra topics at the end that the other books don't have. Uh, it's got this uh, differentiation and integration in R to the N. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. Plan to use it as well. Don't know how much because it's very early in my uh, analysis. Big powwow. Then we have, um, let's see, we have this book. Uh, this book reads like a novel, and I like that. I contrast it to uh, Rudin. So really, these two books are at the extreme of how an analysis book uh, or any math book would read. Let's see if I can zoom in a little more. There we go. Uh, because one is written like a poem, and the other one is written like a Dickens novel. So very different uh, outlooks or point of view on how to do analysis. Both, I think, are very good in their own right. Uh, so uh, in the case of Thompson, Bruckner, and Bruckner, I think these are a couple, a man and a woman, uh, it doesn't have as much of a coverage as other books. Like, for example, in the very beginning materials, which is what I've been doing, uh, the properties of the real numbers. In here, in the case of Rudin, there's a whole chapter on set, uh, point set topology. All of these books have a little bit of point set topology. They dress it up as some other subject. They don't really call it point set topology. Uh, but yeah, very well written, very, very slow, very methodical. So I really like this book. It's got a lot of problems, and I plan to use it. Uh, analysis. You know, there's a, a zillion books on analysis, so I, there's no way that I could have like all the best books. I just have to have a reasonable selection that will help me learn the subject. Yeah, so, yeah, very well written, novel style, lots of, lots of paragraphs, lots of descriptions, which I, I think as a self-taught person right now, before I take a course, uh, I need this. Uh, very much like a Rosen type of thing. Then uh, we have books that uh, I know are being used in courses. Uh, Bartle and Sherbert. Hope I'm not mispronouncing the names. Uh, this is a good book. It's not. A, it's not at the super rigorous level. It's not at the rudin level, but uh, it's pretty good. And I, it reads really well. I plan to use it as well. Uh, it's got a nice. Uh, table of contents, it's not, it co covers a lot. It's not, I'm sorry that this keeps falling off. It's not as uh, expansive, expansive, not expensive, and uh, that it covers a lot as say Rudin, uh, but it's aimed at a more like a baby re real analysis class. Um, I like it, reads well, it's got a lot of uh, uh, problems. It's got answers in the back, so definitely uh, plan to use this book a lot, I hope. Uh, then, uh, this book, which I know is being used in a uh, more like a Rudin, as a Rudin substitute, so it's a more like a proofs, heavy duty proofs course for the math majors. Also plan to use it. Uh, it wasn't that expensive, brand new from uh, uh, Springer. So there you have that one. Uh, and then, really what I think are going to be the two books that I really, you know, 
do do okay these are really my two books I've already started reading Wade I am at page 53 and I continue to go through Rudin and see where the two complement each other so even though I showed a bunch of other books that I'm going to use these are going to be my go-to books and this guy is going to get read from cover to cover and so this goes to this goes then I can go back to my uh, my plan I took all of Wade, all 15 chapters, and just plotted out by section which day between December uh, of this year and July of next year I want to finish everything. Now the way that I plan to do it is I'm going to try to read ahead and then fill in with problems that space. Now I've already started to do that, so I'm already at section 2.4, so I've been reading and I write down when I finish a section. When I did my crosswalk, I not noticed that the chapter and point set topology that is found in Rudin is really not in most of these books. Uh, Terence Tao has something in his, his second volume, and uh, Bartlett and Sherbert has a little something in uh, chapter 11. So I'll figure out how to fill this material in. <clears throat> I'm sure if I read ahead enough in Wade, I'll go and do this chapter in Rudin and actually take notes. Then really your uh, sequences, continuity, real numbers, all that is where I'm focusing on right now. Then going to differentiation, the Riemann integral, sequences, series, uh, stone wire, Strauss, oh yeah, all, this, all these subjects are covered in all the books. Then when you get down to uh, n-dimensional real, uh, real space, uh, differentiation, integration, the material, I don't know, I haven't gotten deep enough to understand if the books that I put down that don't have anything on it actually do, but I think they don't. And I'm not sure that Rudin does, but it may, and I just missed it because it's described in some other way. But either way, the winner was Wade, and that's the book that I'm going to be focusing on. Uh, so far, so good. I think I've seen like at least one or two typos, which is fine. They actually keep me, um, you know, keep me thinking about what I'm reading. Yep. So this is Wade. Um, it's got 15 chapters. Does a lot of uh, multidimensional integrals and differentiation. It's got a little Fourier for, for series. So I'm looking forward to reading this whole book. And then of course, uh, Rudin, which is really written like a poem. Uh, of course, a book that needs no introduction. And so I, I read from it and uh, I don't know, I'm not sure if I would ever have time to go through it in detail and uh, just read it all cover to cover. It's one of those that it's a nice to do someday perhaps, I'm not sure. So there you have it, that's my uh, analysis books for uh, 2023.